In this screencast, we're taking a look at the new features introduced in version 2.0 of the AWS Toolkit for Eclipse. Version 2.0 of the Toolkit adds a lot of exciting new features, including support for working with multiple AWS accounts, remote debugging of AWS Elastic Beanstalk applications, and a new AWS Explorer view that lets you easily manage and work with your AWS resources, such as storage with S3, relational databases with RDS, and messaging with Amazon SQS and Amazon SNS. Let's get started by installing the AWS Toolkit for Eclipse. We recommend starting with the latest JEE distribution of Eclipse. Once you've launched Eclipse, you can install the toolkit either by hitting the AWS Eclipse update site directly at aws.amazon.com eclipse, or you can use the Eclipse Marketplace to search for the AWS Toolkit for Eclipse and install it that way. Once you've installed the toolkit, you'll need to configure your security credentials before you can start using the tools. Click on the AWS drop-down menu in the toolbar and select Preferences. From here, you can add multiple AWS accounts. The combo box allows you to select which AWS account you want the toolkit to use by default. Now that you've got the toolkit installed and configured with your account, you're ready to start exploring. Version 2.0 of the toolkit introduces a new view called the AWS Explorer that gives you a quick view of your AWS resources and allows you to easily work with them. The Explorer also lets you easily switch between different accounts and different regions. Let's take a quick look through the different sections in the AWS Explorer and see what we can do. Under the Amazon SNS node in the Explorer, we see a list of all our Amazon SNS topics. From here, we can easily create or delete topics, or we can open them up in the new Topic Editor. The Topic Editor allows us to manage the subscriptions to our topics and send messages to our topics. The next section in the AWS Explorer lists our Amazon S3 buckets. We can create or delete buckets, or we can open a bucket in the new S3 bucket editor and see a list of the objects stored in the bucket. This editor also allows you to manage the permissions of your buckets and the objects in them. You can also drag and drop to upload and download files. The Amazon SQS section in the Explorer shows a list of all your SQS queues. You can create and delete queues, send messages to your queues, and open up your queues in the new queue editor. The queue editor is a really handy way to take a quick look at your queues and see what messages are queued up. You can even add new messages and delete messages. The Amazon SimpleDB section lists all your SimpleDB domains, lets you create and delete domains, and lets you work with your domains using a few different tools. In addition to support for the Data Tools platform tools, like the Table Data Editor and the SQL Scrapbook, there's a new Query Editor that lets you run queries on your domains, then edit the results and save them back to Amazon SimpleDB. You can easily access and manage your Amazon EC2 resources through the Amazon EC2 section in the Explorer. From here, you can quickly open the Omni Browser view, Instances view, Elastic Block Storage view, or the EC2 Security Groups view. The AWS Elastic Beanstalk section shows you a list of all your Elastic Beanstalk applications and the environments running your applications. If you double-click on an Elastic Beanstalk environment, Eclipse will import it as a Web Tools Platform server and open the server editor so you can see more information about your environment and its configuration. For more information about working with AWS Elastic Beanstalk from Eclipse, including how to easily deploy and remote debug your applications on Elastic Beanstalk, see the other Eclipse screencast available at aws.amazon.com eclipse. Finally, in the Amazon RDS section, you'll see a list of all your RDS database instances. The toolkit makes it easy to connect to your RDS databases. Just double click in a database and the toolkit will automatically configure a new connection profile for your database. Once configured, you can use all of the Data Tools platform tools in Eclipse to access your RDS database. Thanks for watching this screencast on the AWS Toolkit for Eclipse. You can learn more about the toolkit and find more screencasts, including tutorials on using the AWS SDK for Java and remote debugging Elastic Beanstalk applications in Eclipse by visiting aws.amazon.com eclipse.